It has been a tradition in Philadelphia for more than 120 years. America's longest running folk parade is underway right now in the city. So let's get right out to CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcella Bayetto live inside the convention center where the fancy brigade finales are happening today. Hi Marcella, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Jessica. That's right. We are live inside of the Philadelphia Convention Center, and this is where we get to spend the very first day of the new year. Right behind me, you can see performances are already underway. From this angle, it's really awesome because you can see all the stagehands, the real behind the scenes that go into all the people that are moving these big props into set designs in and around so that people can navigate and continue with their performance. Now, they've been spending months learning choreography and perfecting their craft for this audience right here. Now, this is considered almost like a rehearsal show for the main one. That's going to be happening later today at 5 p.m. But we did catch up with the Fancy Brigade Association earlier today to hear why this yearly celebration is so important to them. It's definitely interesting. It's like cramming a four and a half minute Broadway show together, uh, but it takes 12 months to put together. It's, it's really something to see. It's a spectacular uh, presentation. Today we were at the parade and this morning and that's when we saw Center City just full of mummers and people enjoying all the festivities. It's estimated that about 10,000 people are a part of the parade ranging from more than 40 clubhouses. Now take a look. This is a pretty packed house even though this is just the first performance of the day. We're going to continue to be out here as we watch uh, other mummers and other divisions come on through to perform. But after this, you know, people come out from this performance and they go straight to the street to keep on strutting. Then they'll come back to return for those final performances later tonight at 5 p.m. Live here inside of the Philadelphia Convention Center. Marcel Bayano, CBS News, Philadelphia. Jessica.